Today's Essential is creating chords using your voice and Melodyne in Studio One version 3. Yep, version 3. Big up the guys at PreSonus, man. You guys absolutely smashed it with version 3. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, the whole interface is obviously customizable now. A uh, lot more features to go over. I won't go over them in this video. I will do plenty more videos on version 3 in the future. But for today, let's concentrate on um, the voice and Melodyne. So up top, we've got a, a clip of me humming or singing a melody that was just in my head. And I've done that using the iPhone. So I've done that on the Voice Memos app. I exported it, sent it over to my Mac, and then just brung it into Studio One. So I wanted to make sure, because I'm not a singer, I wanted to make sure that it was on key as much as I could and that it was loud. So I'll give you a blast of this. I apologize <laughs> in advance. Right, okay, so once I had my audio clip, I wanted to run it through Melodyne. So I just right click, go to audio, and then edit with Melodyne. Melodyne will do its thing and it's going to read the notes. So from here, the left hand side, you'll be able to see around about what notes they are. But I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to drag the audio onto a new instrument track. So in this case, I was using a piano. I clicked, dragged down, let go, and it gives me the MIDI. So I'll play the MIDI. So as you can hear the MIDI is off and some of the notes are wrong and stuff like that but that's fine it didn't matter to me all I wanted to do was make sure that I had the building block for me to start so from there I went into the piano roll and I started to add notes as you can see so now I've built all these chords and I've got a nice pattern the only thing I've done different is that when I built the pattern I selected them all and then I shifted them down just two I think there originally there was up there and then I went down there it just sounded better to my ear so the next thing I done was create a new instrument and I used the Spire lead Euro dancer um, preset done a bit of tweaking here and there and I put a uh, pro EQ on there just to take out the lows so I threw that in there as well so now I've got two instruments the next thing I wanted to do is the side chain so I created the bus right click add bus here's my bus and then I threw on the LFO tool went to presets sidechain and then picked I think it's sidechain one and then I've done some tweaking and then from here you want to automate the bypass so you click on the bypass it will show up in the box you drag the hand and put it on a lane and that's that so now you get this then you need to turn on and off the bypass if you want to do that. So the way to do that is to select your transform. Let's just say I want to turn off the bypass there and just drag it up. And that's it. Very, very simple. So I've done that for the first part where there's no side chain. And obviously for the second part, side chain comes in next thing is to add kicks and then just two white noises and that is basically it and I'm going to show you uh, the sound that I came out with and remember this just came from me singing into my phone <laughs> 